nominated as the Walter Payton Man of the Year? Yeah, there's a there's a few things in our business that um, are hard to quantify with words. How special these things are, and and I think at the top of that, the epitome of that is the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Um, you know, the NFL and and the organizations and the players hold that at the very highest regard, because um, not only is that you know, someone who exemplifies just being a good football player, but you know the standard of being a person uh, that you want representing your organization or as a community off the field as well. Um, you know, it's this isn't a happenstance thing that he he's received this. This isn't just like a close your eyes and point at the team room and see who gets it. This is something that he's earned and he's worked very hard at um, and he takes a lot of pride in, as he should. It's a remarkable thing and uh, we're very, all of us, very happy for him. Mitch, you've had the chance to work with uh, Patrick and with Josh, Patrick Mahomes and mm -hmm. now Josh. What, uh, what makes those two guys similar uh, in your mind? Uh, both guys are extremely competitive, um, are willing to you know, lay their bodies on the line for the betterment of the team and, and winning games. Um, they also both command the respect and, you know, love of the locker room, their respective locker rooms. And uh, they, have a, they do both do a great job of commanding a huddle. You know, when a, when a guy comes into a huddle and knows what's going on and can look at, you know, some of these play calls are long, and can look at the individual group that's responsible as the play call goes on and, and you just kind of come in with that uh, demeanor even when the games are tight or you're down you know the very common collective that kind of permeates through the rest of the uh, offense uh, they do a very good job of that and then maybe on the flip side of that what, what sets them apart what makes them different in your mind uh one plays in kansas city one plays in buffalo uh both are exceptional football players and uh there's a lot more similarities and differences. There's much potential that they're both on a Hall of Fame trajectory in their career. I mean, they're very accomplished. I mean, the uh, opportunity for you to get to work with them in the way that you do, it's got to be pretty neat for you in your career. Extremely. And uh, I don't take that for granted. I don't take it lightly. I've, I've, been, um, I've been very fortunate with every quarterback I've had, starting with Alex Smith as you know, my first three years, to have that guy. Uh, set the found, helped me set the foundation of being a professional and then having Pat uh, for a year. And then, I mean, I, I couldn't have been luckier to have Josh these past five. I mean, it's just I've been very, you know, individually very, very fortunate to have those quarterbacks. What is your film prep like or what can you say about the prep for Steve Spagnuolo's uh, pressure scheme? Yeah. Well, I think it's very multiple. Um, and the tough thing for us that's going to come about is that you know, we're playing on the road, an airhead that can be very loud, um, and they're very multiple defense, and it caught, you know, there's a lot of communication needs to happen and a lot of in-game adjustments. So it'll be not only patience, um, but you know, timely getting to the line, understanding what they see, you get a lot of nonverbal communication. And if, uh, if there's a miscommunication in the field or if they show something we haven't seen before getting off the field and uh, you know, not panicking or not, because you know, emotions are high sometimes, and looking at things objectively and, uh, and then making the adjustments we need to. When a defense sends slot corners as much as they do, I mean, without giving away a scheme, but I mean, in general, it, it's a more pressure on the board. Uh, yeah, I mean, anytime you blitz someone, it puts a lot of pressure on a quarterback. Not only do they need to know uh, how they want to send the line or the running back or the protection scheme in re regards to, like you said, Steve Spagnuolo is a very multiple defensive coordinator, uh, where your hots are. There's just so much that goes into it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't envy being Josh at, at times. So, uh, But that's one of those things that it's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. The offensive line, along with the quarterback, we're all working together. And uh, let's try to do the best we can. Mitch, you know, in light of what happened, the production offensively the last couple of games and now having the benefit of a bye week, um, I mean, you had preached patience at the time, I think, remember we talked to you around the time they made the switch at coordinator, but how much maybe of a different view or confidence do you have now that this thing's headed back in the right in that aspect? You know, I don't know if it's totally fair to our previous offense coordinator to say I have more confidence in the game plan. I think... Uh, you know, I, I held Dorsett a very high regard, not only as a person, but as a coordinator. He, he poured his heart and his, and his time into this thing, and um, it meant so much to him. Um, 
that being said, we, you know, the last two weeks have been very productive. We like what's happened. And so for us, it's just um, trying to understand what that was. Maybe it was just where we've been executing a little bit more, more you know, focused on individually on our details and trying to hone in on being professionals. And, and we're just going to try to uh, replicate that as much as possible, understand the defenses are very multiple, like Kansas City's, and, and very challenging, not only personnel-wise, but schematically. So we just try to do the best we can and be pros. This isn't a Ken Dorsey question. It's specifically a Joe Brady question. Do you feel like the ability to, for him to communicate well with you guys, Dawson Knox mentioned it yesterday, in terms of what you like, what's working, helps when the bolts are flying and you have to make some of those in-game adjustments you were talking to? Totally. Yeah, you want guys being as confident as possible. Now, sometimes you're confident in a play that schematically is just not it's not going to work against a certain defense. So you kind of, kind of take them under a chin sometimes. But uh, great coordinators, um, like Joe Brady is, do a good job of understanding what each person's not only strength, but kind of, a lot of it comes down to what you're comfortable with. Uh, and usually you're comfortable with your strengths, right? But um, And you, you go from there. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.